to my channel and thank you for joining me on another episode of Prime Math Zoom. Today, the focus will be on how to benchmark fractions. Let's do a quick recap of fractions. Fraction is an equal part of a whole, right? Yes, like this. Here, you'll see a shape divided into equal parts. How can we determine a half? Now, when we divide an attribute in two parts and the two parts are equal, we can say that each part is called a half. So like this heart here, you can call it an attribute. We have it and it's divided into two parts and two parts, the two parts are equal. This side here, is the same size as this side. This other attribute, where we divide it into two equal parts, one here, one here, and the two parts are the same size, meaning that they are equal, and one part is called a half. Here we can say then that one half and another half will give us a whole. Another attribute where we have the dividing part in the middle, we divided it in the middle, and on one side we have a half, the other side we have another half. These two halves together created one whole. How can we determine quarter? This is when an attribute is divided into four equal parts and one part is now called a quarter or a fourth. Like this, this attribute here is divided into four parts. Here, one part, two parts, three parts, and four parts. But are the four parts equal? Yes, the four parts are equal in size. This means that one of the parts can be called a quarter or a fourth. So here in this attribute, we would have one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, which will be one whole. Another attribute divided into four equal parts. One, two, three, four. And can you guess? Yes, one part is called a quarter or a fourth. <laughs> here again, we have another attribute divided into four equal parts. One part, two parts, three parts, four parts. And one part is called a quarter. Good job. Now here we have a scenario. If you are walking to the shop without an umbrella and it starts to rain, will you continue or turn back if you are at this mark spot? No. This is where home is and this is where shop is. And that's the distance from home to shop. Now, based on this ruler here, you will realize that the distance from home to shop, we would have divided it into different parts, equal parts. So with the distance, we divided the distance into one part, two parts, three parts, four parts, yes. That means we would have divided the distance into quarters or into fourths. Now, we would understand that you are standing at the one mark here. And if it is that you want to find halfway of the journey, what we need to do is we need to add all the fourths, one, two, three, four, and divide by two. Yes, because half means two equal parts. So we divided the four quarters into by two and we got two quarters here and two quarters here. That means if she's, if you are at the two, you would have been halfway in the journey, but you didn't reach a two, you're still at one. So tell me, are you closer to home? Are you close to the shop? What would you do if it starts to rain? Yes. The smart thing is to turn right back home. 
Now, is this baby closer to the milk or closer to the toy? Hmm, let's think about it. Here we have a ruler. And look here, at the zero point is where we're going to start. So the, Z, the milk bottle is placed at the zero point and the toy is placed at the last point, the 20 point. Now, the zero is the starting point and 20 is the ending point. And in order to know if the baby is closer to the milk or closer to the toy, we have to figure out which mark will represent halfway. Now, if 20 is the highest point, and we know that when we're talking about half, we are going to divide by two, we can divide 20 by two. Now, think about it. How many groups of two can you get from 20? Hmm. Yes, 20 divided by two gives us 10. So here we know that a 10 right here will be the half mark. Look at it. Yes, the baby is exactly at the half mark. The baby is exactly at 10 centimeter. So is the baby really closer to the milk or closer to the toy? Neither. The baby is halfway between. Now, let's think about this activity. We're going to think about the X. So is the X point more or less than a half? So let's think about the first X point. Hmm. First, we have to do is think about where? Yes, think about the half mark. If we're starting at zero and we end at 20, we need to divide 20 by two. So if we divide 20 by two, we'll get halfway, which is 10 right here. So is the X closer to the half, less than half, or more than half? The X is more than half because the X has passed the 10 and is on its merry way to the 20. So yes, the X is more than half. Let's think about this other X right here. We know from zero to 20, the half mark is 10 centimeters. So here with the X right here at seven centimeters is the X less than the half mark, or is the X more than the half, at the more than the half mark? Well, we know that seven is less than 10. So yes, this X is less than half. Now, let us think about this other one. We know because we have been working with this ruler that we're dealing with the zero point and the 20 points. And halfway along this ruler will be 10 centimeter. Wow, the X is at the 10 centimeter. That means, yes, the X is neither less than half or more than half. It is exactly halfway along the ruler. Now, Based on the activities that we would have done, we can say that when we benchmark fractions, it is easy to visualize and identify the parts. And this helps with estimation. Thank you for staying and learning with us. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.